All right, uh, that was a blast from the past, and we're gonna continue on here. I forget what we wanted to do here. We just, yeah, right, we got the key, the, um, the gate key or whatever. And we're gonna try and find out what to do here. I'm gonna save it here just in case we don't need to go over there. So I can just respawn up here. Was the first and only MMO I ever played. Okay. Is that like a pre predecessor to um, what's it called? Ultima Online? And. Uh... Yeah, I think it was Ultima Online. <laughs> what country is Lara in now? We're in the Antarctica. And. Uh... I'm not sure what we are doing here, because we have all four uh, crystals or whatever. But I think this is where it all comes together. So we are in the last chapter of the game, uh, but there's a couple of levels. This is the first one. And I think we have three or four more after this. I don't remember. I looked it up earlier during when I should have been working. <laughs> so, Alright, here's a key. I think it came after Ultima and Quake. So Ultima was first, okay. Quake, oh yeah, I remember playing Quake 3. Those were the days, man. And Unreal Tournament, oh man. We spent so many hours playing that. Do you know that... that video... <laughs> of the... I think it's a German kid who ruins his keyboard, saying, I want to play Unreal Tournament! <laughs> and he just smashes his uh, keyboard onto the desk. The keys go flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> LAN parties, yeah. I never was in a LAN party, but I guess we made our own. My cousin, my cousins, my brother and I, when we were older, met up at my brother's place and uh, hooked up all our computers and played Battlefield 1942, which is also a great game. It blew my mind because you could fly planes and stuff. Alright, can I go up here? I'm gonna find the video you speak of now. You should, it's, it's really fun. <laughs> jumpy jumps okay he just he's just been waiting in this little cave for hours and hours later on we pl my cousin and I played Diablo 2 connected directly both computers he had an iMac I had an iMac those see-through ones. Played that all summer. It was cool. At some point, we played all night and uh, had that going for a time. And it went so far as to when our parents went to bed, it was our time to get up because we were so... Our sleeping patterns were so messed up. And that was the point where we said, okay, that's, that's, that's not normal. <laughs> See what's up here. Could I? Oh, come on. Don't be a pooper here. Alright, get up there. Why won't you? Okay, she will go in this direction, but not the other one. That's poopy. I don't want to go into the water. The water is dead. Go, 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 go. Cold as it is already. There's something up there. Shotgun shells. I need them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Go. I hate this corner crap. If you can't find it, I'm, I'm gonna look it up for you. And send it to you via, via DM or Whisper or whatever it's called on Twitch.
I guess that kid was the first case of ADHD. <laughs> myself left there. That was patient zero for sure. What's the point of coming here? Like, I don't quite understand why this is here. If we, if all we have to do is go through this cave here, or into this cave. So this is gonna take about an hour to get this right. Oh. Why did I get turned around here? That wasn't me, that was the game. Go. Oh. Just Austin Powers your way in there. This should be fine. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. See behind bars. Oh, there's another dude. Uh, maybe take a medipack here. There he goes. I think he dropped for us. Yeah, you see, this guy doesn't look like a werewolf when he's dead. He looks like a normal human being. A bit blocky, but other than that, pretty, pretty okay. I don't know, there was definitely some sort of mutation or something. You did find the video, that's cool. Um, I did block, I forgot to unblock, I did block links and, and, and stuff in my chat, so that's why you're seeing stars here instead of uh, the actual link. I'm sorry about that. That was an issue in one of my first streams and... Uh, I forgot to revert it. I'm sorry about that. So what's, uh, what's down here and what's, what's in this little hole here? Looks like I can climb it back up. So maybe I do want to go down. It's quite the rage from the guy. <laughs> Okay, it is death. I thought I could hold on to the edge there. To the looks like I could could have climbed it, but apparently not. That's the game diverting me again, or subverting my expectations, or whatever. See, this would have been climbable before, but no. All right, enough of this. Let's get away from this hole. It's just <laughs> painful. Yeah, I guess the gist of the video is he just wants to play Unreal Tournament real bad. <laughs> okay, now we're on the other side. I'm gonna shut up here. Hi, come in. Make yourself at home. I, I won't be a minute. At home? I've just met a man who may as well have been Brundlefly. Fascinating, isn't it? He was your own employee. He was a molecular biologist. He'd have been intrigued with himself. Thanks to this material, his Hox genes were multiplied. Do that, and the complexities of our bodies increase beyond our comprehension. But this is just the fringe of its possibilities we're seeing here. My pal's exposure came from the material impregnated into the meteorite crater. The real capacities lie in its core. If these artifacts you're so attached to will let me access... But you've no control over this. This is not just about avidly spawning mutants. It's an entirely natural acceleration of revolution. A real live laboratory of spurred on life. Not everyone here wants to be guinea pigs, multi-appendaged or not. Well, that's unfortunate. It's been hit and miss here for too long. Now the timing's spot on. I can't leave it. The Polynesians fled in their ignorance. Darwin's half-wit sailors the same, ironically making Darwin himself miss this angle on evolution. But now, I'm here. I have the access, the knowledge, the artifacts. Yes, but you bumped into me in India and sent me to find them for you, bringing me here. Listen to this gibberish. Your perception of good timing is... 
bad. I don't know about that. <laughs> And there we go, two or three secrets, not too bad. Amazing ventriloquism here, yeah, I love how they talk. 